This is the Indiana Surf Foil Board Range. These are boards designed for prone foiling and for high wind wing foiling. This is the 4.9 size, but it also comes in 5.2 for heavier riders or beginners, and for more advanced or smaller riders, the 4.5. The Indiana Surf Foil boards are super compact. We have tried to keep a nice relationship between width and length to make paddling very, very easy, and that allows for a much nicer takeoff. We've done a progressive concave with the deepest part, right where your front feet are, or specifically where your chest will be when you're paddling. This makes it much more comfortable for you to lay on the board. And once you pop up, it's very easy to find a good place for your front foot and you'll feel really locked in. The concave shallows out towards the back. This makes it a bit more comfortable for your back foot, especially when pushing hard through carves. We have updated the scoop rocker line to feature a little bit more tail rocker and a little bit more scoop, especially in the last one foot off from the nose. On the surf oil boards, we've kept the hull super clean. There's no concaves, it's just completely flat all the way back to the tail. We've kept the kicktail in to aid your takeoff when you're paddling. Unlike when you're trying to pump up for wing foiling, the kicktail assists you on the wave as the wave lifts the tail of the board up and pushes the board forward in the wave, keeping your nose under control, allowing the board to surf a little bit first before you pop up. This will allow you to get a lot more speed on your foil before the board pops up. This works very well with new, smaller, high aspect, high performance front wings on foils as you get more board speed or more foil speed before the foil pops up, giving you a bit more of a controlled takeoff in larger and faster waves. The surf foil boards feature the new croc skin pads. These are great, especially for prone foilers, as when you pop up and run your foot along it, it doesn't have that sort of burn effect that the sort of sanded EVA has. The croc skin actually gets more grippy when it gets wet. For those looking for the maximum grip when surf foiling, you can also uh, slightly wax this deck to get the maximum grip. And because it's not the rough EVA, it's very easy to scrape off the wax without damaging the pad. For riders who want to jump or wing foil with it, we have strap positions for V-straps and a single strap in the back. The board does get delivered with a set of straps and hardware for them. The 4.9 and the 5.2 get delivered with the carry handle to make it easy to carry the board when you have a foil attached. The 4.5, however, is thin enough so you don't need the handle on there, so that saves a little bit of weight there too. The handles on these boards are small and low drag, so you don't have to worry about them creating any resistance for when you're paddling or when you're taking off. These boards feature the Leotech 32 centimeter tracks. These are slightly longer than standard tracks on the market, and these are front loaded, and this allows you to leave your nuts on your plate and will allow you to drop in your mast in a matter of seconds rather than having to drop in each nut individually. If you're looking for a new surf foil board, check out our website for more detailed information on the Indiana surf foil board range. And also if you want to buy one immediately, you can buy it directly online in our Swiss or European web shop.